there guys, my name is Kirsty Todd Longster Ball, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the London Resort. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, let's get into the video. So this is on the London Resort and we have some brand new information. Now I have to uh, sort of explain why there's loads of, like it's like a yellowy kind of in here. Uh, and that is because um, I just got in from uni. It was starting to get dark, so I need to fill something uh, before it gets dark, so I haven't got my ring light or my new studio light as of yet. That's the thing I want to get for Christmas, so uh, I've got to wait till that comes. But apart from that, I was going to have to use a natural light for now, so trying to get something filled for today. Uh, there will be stuff pre-recorded on tomorrow, because I'm off. Um, that'll go on over the next few days because I've got some assessments coming up, so there's just a bit of a side note there. Uh, but we do have the confirmed areas for the London Resort, a big news update, that's what I wanted to film today. Uh, and this is on the confirmed areas, and we're going to be looking at some rising attractions that I can spot uh, in some teaser pictures. Uh, now, one of the teaser pictures, which is the main source for trying to spot rising attraction types, uh, is too blurry, so I didn't want to use that because I only use the best quality for you guys. Um, but London Resort, I want to give a massive shout out to London Resort. They did such a good job with this project. Scheduled to open in 2024 as per usual. Uh, we knew that already. But we've got the six confirmed lands and descriptions from the website for those confirmed lands. So we've got a couple of um, sort of concept art pictures uh, from London Resort. And also, while you look at those pictures, I'm going to describe to you the six lands. And one of those pictures is actually a sketch showing you the logos for the six areas and what's in them uh, and that's another of the pictures I'm going to use to sort of spot rising attractions and things like that so make sure you uh, keep tuned make sure you stay tuned while you're listening to this so I'm going to put those pictures on your screen now find out Bidorsi and let's have a look then at the descriptions of these themed areas so um, we've got six lands in this um, so basically uh, in this sort of um, theme park, this London Resort, uh, they start their journey in the studios, which will be a gritty modern day warehouse uh, district that practically roars with the exhilarating thrills of big blockbuster features, so I'm expecting a lot of Paramount stuff in this. A winning combination of explosive action, high octane car chases and high stakes espionage. Just to the north lies the woods, an enchanted realm where springtime reigns eternal and the boundary between reality and fantasy dissolves. Here the young and young at heart will be invited to step through the page of a storybook and embark on adventures that put a fresh spin on beloved bedtime stories, fables and fairy tales. Again, I'm expecting a lot of Paramount in this. Uh, you look at the things like the Spiderwick Chronicles, I'm sure that'll be in there at some point, that's, that's my prediction anyway. Um, from the woods, the journey continues into the age of, into the kingdom. Uh, an immersive row of swords, sorcery, dragons and legend. This is England as a dark and ancient land, a place of threatening and imposing castles and mystical Arthurian legends. So I'm expecting a lot of original themes and attractions with this. To the north lays the Isles, a land of giant creatures, mythical beasts and adventures uh, at the crossroads of imagination and reality. Fantastic draw-dropping architecture will combine with magnificent rides and 21st century technology. Uh, the past begins to blend with the future in the jungle. Ancient ruins of a mysterious, long-lost Mesoamerican civilization are seen pushing up through treetops. Here, an overgrown environment brimming with ancient secrets, surprising discoveries, and strange mystical artifacts will be transported to the present and inquisitive explorers, young and old. So, a very uh, mixed range of attractions for this area. The final land dedicated to futuristic experiences, alien encounters, and big thrill rides. The starport is a bustling 23rd century landing zone. It will launch visitors into thrilling scientific fiction adventures that are out of this world, even the mesmerise at things they should be impossible but are not. So those are the, th the six areas then. So you've got the so a bit of a uh, recap. The studios, the woods, um, the kingdom, the isles, the jungle, and the starport. Now as well as that, you've also got the high street, which will be full of shops, restaurants, hotels, a convention center, and a first class water park. So that's where the sort of, I know in the original plans back in 2012, they had things like a theater or a cinema in there. So I think that might be in there if they're still in the plans. So looking then at this little diagram of all the areas basically highlighted, that'll be on your screen now. Find out Bidorsi, look at that. So I can spot immediately one, two, uh, at least three roller coasters. 
Now the one in the um, the light blue area, uh, which is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Starport. I mean, it's not highlighted on here. I know there's a aqua blue that's highlighted as the high street. Uh, one of the coasters is in the jungle, so you can expect a jungle thing coaster. It's a big coaster as well, so it could be a mine train, like a big Thunder Mountain. It could be uh, like a it could be a family drop track coaster, like a 13 or a Vibolta, so decided to go either Intamin or Sierra with this. Um, it looks like there's, a, there's a, like a dark ride built. I know there's a coaster to the edge of the kingdom, so that could be like a family coaster themed to like the dragon, kind of like what Legoland do. Um, I know the woods has got a, a big building sort of to the back of the area where the uh, sort of red line is points to the logo, so that could be maybe a dark ride in the woods area, maybe like a sleepy hot, maybe it could be sleepy hollow, you never know. That's a Paramount thing, that was in the uh, Paramount Mercy plans as well as the Paramount London uh, Outlook back in a few years ago, so maybe they're going to go with sleepy hollow for that area. Uh, the studio, there seems to be a big, some big studio buildings uh, inside there, so uh, apparently 70% of the rides are under cover, so a lot of dark rides, a lot of buildings, a lot of uh, see-through attractions uh, in, this, uh, in this sort of park, so again, I'm a big fan of that, I really can't wait for that. Um, but that coaster in that lighty blue area, it's not like aqua blue, like the high street, but it's like a, um, like, an, like a different kind of blue, I mean that could be uh, future expansion. It looks like a coaster layout in there, so uh, I mean from the looks of uh, the blurred image, which you can't see, uh, there is definitely a couple of coasters in that image, and a frisbee ride, so maybe that could be themed to the woods, it could be the jungle, it could be anything. Uh, so there's definitely at least three roller coasters, if not two or three roller coasters in that park, so I think come 2020, I think, well, I'm sure when we get the final sort of plans and the final go-ahead, Obviously those are like the six areas announced, but once we get the final go-ahead for this park, um, we're going to you know, see construction come up thick and fast, uh, ready for 2024 to come around. I'm praying, praying that I'll be down there for the opening day in 2024. Obviously it's a long while away yet, uh, a few years at least, but you know, a few years ago we were saying this project was never going to come to light, and you know, now we're, we're at the stage where you know, the six themed areas have been revealed and it's like, wow, this is actually going to happen. Uh, and this was the UK's answer to Disneyland. That was one of the main articles from the from the modern media. It is the UK's answer to Disneyland. So, you know, Paramount Pictures are in on it. Our man animations are not in on it, at the, um, unfortunately, now. Maybe they can strike a new deal with them and try and get them on board again. ITV's involved, BBC's involved. Uh, you know, there's a lot of companies involved in this project. I'm hoping they can get some more people on side, maybe get uh, DreamWorks involved, Universe, well, maybe not Universal, but DreamWorks, I'd love to see them get involved, because I know, I, know, I think there's a few Paramount films that are linked with DreamWorks, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or are they just all Universal? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, um, as far as I know, I think there's a couple of Paramount films that were DreamWorks. Comment down below if you know for certain. Um, my film knowledge on com I, I know a lot of films, but like, you know, I know a lot of DreamWorks films, but in terms of companies, I'm not that big of a knowledge on companies ex uh, specifically, whether it's just Universal, Warner Brothers, or Paramount, or anything like that. But I know there's a couple of films that were mentioned, things like Rango, um, you know, in the original plans for the park and the outlook of the park. I know in the Mercia part there was like a Rango River Rapids on display, so, uh, you know, maybe that could be a future expansion uh, in the future. Maybe um, we could see some expanded areas. I know uh, there's a first gate, which will be open by 2024, and then the second gate will be open by 2029, which I believe includes a hotel in the planning. I believe I mentioned that in the last, in the previous update. So make sure you go check those videos out. We've got a whole playlist now for London Resort. So make sure you go check it out. We're we'll counting down the days ready for 2024 to come around. Um, and I know there's a lot of different attractions that we're looking at as well, separately. So um, we've got some big stuff for this project. Big, big stuff for this project. And this is really coming together now. We just need that final green light. And of course, when we get the news that, you know, you know, we've got all the no, we've got all the plans now. We've got all the sort of confirmed details and the, the things like that. We haven't got specific attractions yet, but so that'll come in the construction process. Um, 
but when we get the final green light, I was sure to bring you an update so I can share my full thoughts on this because I've been sharing you sort of my reactions to the latest stuff and sort of overall about the history of the projects and things like that. But I think once we get the goat green light, it'll be a big video because I'll be sharing my thoughts on the project, you know, what could happen in the future, you know, long term thoughts. Uh, the, at the minute, it's been first reaction and historical thoughts. Long term future thoughts will come when we get the final green light for this project. So, and like I said, 2024, I'm praying to try and, be, try and get down there as best as I can for the opening day in 2024. So, I hope you guys are going to be down there as well. Comment down below if you are down for the opening day in 2024. I know it's a while away, a few years away, but you know, comment down below if you are. I mean, the channel could be at 100,000 subscribers when we're in 2024. Who knows? I'd love to get there. I mean, that's that's your long-term goal, guys. If you can get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by 2024, or by the time we hit 2024, I will uh, get down there for the opening day, for sure. So if you can get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by 2024, I will go to the opening day of the London Resort, guaranteed. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news and update from the London Resort. Obviously, we'll be in better lighting uh, when we get uh, around to tomorrow to film more updates. Obviously, we've got a closed but not forgotten. Uh, well, not closed but not forgotten technically, but we've got a closed child review from the Flume at Alton Towers. I'm pre-recording that. Pre-recording a couple of debating videos, see if we can get them online uh, in the next few days as well, since we're in the winter period. I am going to be doing a whole video looking at different Christmas events for the parks. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for a video from them, uh, from the main th theme parks that are doing Christmas events. I know Alton Towers is doing something that's close to hotel guests. I know Drayton Manor does something. Um, I'm sure Poland's Park does the Winter Wonderland. So there's a lot of Christmas events at a lot of UK theme parks. So make sure you stay tuned for a video from that. I did a video for that last year. It wasn't the most successful video, so I thought, should I do it again? But I feel it's I feel it's best that you guys know, basically. Um, I might not be able to get... If any of you can send any pictures from Chessington Close season, then send them to me on my Instagram. It's in the description down below, so make sure you go check it out. Uh, but if I haven't got any pictures for Chessington's Close season, then I'll just do like a, a reporting update without any pictures. So I'll try and do a news update on Chessington's Close season. Uh, updates and things like that and how the construction is coming along with the mini lug flume and you know removing fine jumbos for its new location and you know different things like that so uh, I might do a video from that I know someone requested in the comments of the previous video to do that make sure you go check out our previous videos by the way uh, from Fanta Wild Ningbo on the trains for their Top Gun launch coaster and other things as well my name is Coast Chow please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video Keep on the coast alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.